What's up guys? It's really hot today and I'm getting really frustrated and I think I'm gonna tell you why. So as a YouTuber and a content creator and just someone who does videos, right? I have to edit all my videos on a video editing software. So I use Premiere Pro and I am using a Dell Inspiron laptop. It's got like a Nvidia card and all that important stuff. So it should be able to handle making my YouTube videos. Keyword there, should. So like last Friday, I went out shooting a vlog with a friend of mine, Luke. Um, hopefully by the time this video is uploaded, I will have already finished that video and uploaded it. But I put the video onto my computer, um, downloaded all the clips. It was like a whole bunch of gigabytes of stuff because I was shooting on the RP. He was shooting, he has a Panasonic G5. We were using a DJI drone. So the whole nine yards, we had all the gear, all the equipment, all the stuff. We were making a big mess out of it. Um, and I got it all home, put it on my laptop, started putting it together, splicing it together, making a great timeline, and then it just stopped. Just like pff, completely dead. Not moving at all. The computer just shut down. It's like, nope, sorry, you're not, you're not getting any work done today. We have decided, the Premiere Pro gods have decided, you get to be done. No more editing for you. And seriously, there's nothing more frustrating. When I'm editing, nothing frustrates me more than the computer just stop. It just stopped. And the playhead up there just refused to move. It was just black, wouldn't move, couldn't play back any of my clips, just decided, you know what? Yep, you're done. Now, normally I can be a reasonable human being and I was like, normally this is no big deal. But the problem is, is I had already put together a huge timeline. Like I had finished editing like an 18 minute timeline for this big video. And I'm like, do I seriously have to start all over? Is three hours of editing down the drain? So I called up my friend Luke, who's extremely good at this sort of thing. And I started texting back and forth with him. I went online, tried to search, why is Premiere Pro stopping? Why is Premiere Pro not playing? And I found a bunch of really helpful results. I had different rendering speeds and changing this and changing that. And I messed with it and it still did nothing. And last night I was just sitting there and so frustrated. I was just so tired of being frustrated. And I got another message from Luke like, hey, have you tried just copying half the timeline into a new project and seeing if that will play? Because I already tried to copy the entire timeline and it wouldn't work at all. So I tried copying half the timeline and lo and behold, it started playing. Now it was glitchy still, sure, and not great and moving slow, but it played, which was a huge improvement. So this gave me some hope that there might be a way to save this. So I went back, I copied the entire timeline, I started messing with it and I found that the drone clips that we had recorded and the clips recorded on Luke's camera had been recorded in log format 4K. And my computer meets the minimum requirements needed to run the advanced version of Premiere Pro. And they were just too strong for the computer. So right now, as we speak, I am hopefully going to get back to editing this video and be able to work on it now because I think I know what's wrong. So if you're one of those other people out there that's editing and your computer just shuts down on you like this, this might be my suggestion. Stand back, take a breather, take a break, get back on there, copy your whole timeline and look through it to find, is there any clips that I shot that are super high resolution, log format, something like that. That might be what's slowing down your timeline and refusing to allow you to edit your video. If you remove those clips, it might work. So hopefully that'll work for you. I hope it will finish working for me. Um, this project is really frustrating. Also, I have not gotten my Gorillapod yet from the States. It is coming in like, uh, like a week or something like that. So I'm really excited that's gonna get here. For the most part, I've been using this baby mini micro tripod and it's worked okay but as you can see the size is not very big and it's not very stable when i'm trying to record on the rp the rp is still a pretty big camera and this little thing can't get it so i'm super excited to finally get 
a gorilla pod and be able to use that in my videos. I think it'll make it easier. So more or less, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Just giving you a little bit of encouragement. Even other people who've been editing for a while and shooting video like me, we still all have the exact same problems where the software just refuses to work sometimes and uh, it can be a big headache. I've been working on this project for like five hours now and I'm just starting to get it resolved. So just know if you're also out there, you're experiencing some problems with your editing workflow and your software, uh, you are not alone. A bunch of us still get frustrated and still have these problems. But I hope this was able to be helpful. Go online, look up some help if you're having these sort of problems. Um, it can really be useful. There's a lot of people with great knowledge into this sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a great week. See ya.